time, every other day. Yo, stress me out on Twitter. Everyone is talking about Big Brother. And I'm like, mm, what's happening, guys? I'm here at work. I can't see anything. Uh, but today, thankfully, I have someone to talk with about Big Brother Niger. And he is the very, very, uh, yeah, the very, uh, yeah, the very handsy Beyonce. <laughs> Hey, Beyonce, what's up? Hello, what's up? I'm good. How's this week been for you? It must have been crazy, right? It's, it's crazy, really crazy. Yeah, I've been seeing you everywhere. Everybody's talking to you at the same time. Yes, uh, well, what can I say? <laughs> We've been taking a lot of pictures, you know. Yeah. On yeah. Love media tours, you know. Yeah, now, now you're famous. <laughs> well. Just like that, even without 25 million. Well, that's our compensation now. All right, like right. It's, not, it's not easy to enter Big Brother House now. It yeah. takes beans. What did it take? Uh, it takes a lot of mental agility. It no, takes... like, I just mean the process. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a long process, actually. It's um, starting from the first audition. You, you go through about four or five stages, you know. And um, in these stages, you're sort of blindfolded for... For, uh, uh, for about four stages yeah you know you are you are quarantined inside the place you don't get to see anybody so it actually you must have mental agility to just be able to withstand all that thing you know? yeah I understand. even up until you enter the house you're still blindfolded you i know? can imagine what do you wait 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 Meonte, i just want to ask you real quick right yeah. why do you think you genuinely got evicted like why if you like you by yourself, I'm sure you've evaluated. You know why do you think you got evicted first? Well, like the first, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, the guys <laughs> felt like I was a threat, and the girls thought that I was playing them. So. Really? Is that how you see it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Mean. I mean, because it's kind of different from the way we see it at home. Okay. Yeah, because from our point of view at home, you you looked a certain way. <laughs> on TV okay. and I have to be honest with you it, it felt like T-Boss was um, she was choking you it no. felt like she was like that's what I'm saying from our point of view at yeah. home. and the truth is you can justify that from even your last party and everything you looked like you really wanted to have fun but every time you go and check on her is, is she okay is she not okay what's going on with T-Boss she was like your queen mother and you were like Beyonce uh, her baby boy and it was really annoying for many people and that's one of the reasons why you, how was it for you? well um um, you could say, you could say um, that that was the issue, but you know this is a game. You have to have your strategy. So that um, was your strategy. T boss was your strategy. Yes, T boss was my strategy. Are you being you serious? Know, when you're up for nomination, I assure you, if you watch the show cl- closely, you would know that people are not themselves when they are up for nomination. That's true. You know, you just start to think of so many things, and you're you're like. Would this work? Would this work? Would this work? You know, and I settled for one strategy, and well, it did not go my way. It doesn't mean you know um, I did badly, or if I'd go, if it had gone my way, everyone would be like, "Wow, he played the dumbest lover," and you know, it was saved. Yeah. But it did not go my way. That's why you are there saying that to me. <laughs> well, uh, Mianzi, to be honest, like you even said you were disappointed when you were getting evicted and yeah, stuff like that, right? Very disappointed. And I'm very sure you never saw it coming. You never saw that t um, would because, nominate you. Uh, oh, about t Well, it's a game, like I said. You know, anyone can nominate anyone. Come on. In the third week, I could have nominated her. Uh, so you're being honest that you were not being hurt by the fact that T-Boss was the one person that said, Beyonce is distracting me. I need my 25 million. I need, I need him to get out. Well, why, why would I be hurt, really? Because I could have done that to her in the third week. You have to put that into consideration too. So. All right, Beyonce. You know what? When we come back, we'll yeah. talk about we'll talk about T Boss. We'll talk about knowing her before and after. We'll talk about your girlfriend and all that stuff. All right, Sound City Radio. We are back, and we still have Beyonce in the house. DJ Shabs has been spinning. Thirteen minutes past eight o'clock is the time, and of course, it's Diwazi here with you on Sound City Radio. Now, Beyonce, someone told me a little birdie told me that before you came here, you were outside, and then a couple of girls were with you, and they literally parked their car in the middle of the road, put their hazards on, came out, and were like, "Oh my gosh, Beyonce!" and all that stuff. How much of that has been happening? Um, ever since uh, we came from there, but it, it's been like that, you know. Uh, it's just been like that. Everywhere we go, they really want to take pictures, <laughs> and I'd definitely oblige. Cause, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> how's that been for I have to I, I have to go how's that been for your girlfriend you know when you were going in the house you told us that you had a girlfriend and uh, we were kind of concerned because of how things turned out and now it's even worse because everybody wants to be with me on say how's that been for her how is she okay I just need to know <laughs> no worries it's I between worry. me and her now it's between you and her yes so, only yeah. only the two of you yes only the two of us we understand ourselves yeah I like I like relationships like that but I have to ask you this Beyonce so uh, uh, when you were leaving the house you told us that you knew T-Boss before you got in the house and everything was going good with you people you knew T-Boss before you got into the Big Brother house and then uh, you also told us you had a girlfriend and then immediately you got in the chemistry was like boom it was really mad between you and T-Boss so is there a possibility that that thing started before you got in like I said, if you uh, if you go into the Big Brother house, you have to have, you must have a strategy. Um, I've said it countless times. It disturb, this, my strategy may have now have gone my way, but well, that was my strategy, you know. And um, I, I felt more comfortable around her because just I met her at the auditions, and before the auditions and the going into the house, there was a space, yeah. So we 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 had a mutual relationship as friends. So. It's so fine, this yeah. thing kind of started before you got into the Big Brother N- nothing house. Started, Is that what you're saying? N- n- nothing How do you started. Mean nothing started? We, we, we are good friends, you know. Uh, that's what that's your story that Th- you're a good friend. That's n- that's no story. Okay. That is it. Uh, okay, so we have Bisola, Coco Eyes, Debbie Rise, Gifty and Bassi up for uh, eviction this week. Yeah. If you were head of house, who would you save and who would you swap with? That's very difficult because um, I think all these people you've mentioned. They're amazing. You yeah, know. let's keep it real though. Like we yeah. know they're amazing. We yeah, know, but exactly. let's keep it real. Like we, all say, we know that real, you probably yeah. didn't like somebody somehow. So who would you save and who would That's you take it thing. out? In as much as you 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 have your differences, it doesn't mean you don't like the person as a person. You know. Okay. You, yeah. Let's put it this way. Okay. Maybe you have your differences <laughs> with every other person, right? You have oh, your yeah. differences with every other person. This one person that you know what is too much. You, you just get out. Really, that person for you. Who would that? To be? Leave. Yeah. Who would you say go? Like, if you were head of okay, house, who would you save? Was, who would you put up? If I was up? head of house, I would probably put myself up instead of them. Are you being serious, yes, Beyonce? Being Do you serious. not like 25 million naira? <laughs> who says that? <laughs> you know, that could be a strategy, you know. Putting no. yourself up. Karen did it twice and she won eventually. So, you know, it's it's just testing your popularity. At, uh, to, you know, you're trying to test your popularity. I understand yourself. that. Yeah. So, uh, Beyonce, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. So, I knew you as she. <laughs> no more Shay. You know, like everything was great. And in Unilag, like, you were like, goody two shoes, really nice guy. And then you came to Big Brother House and wowed everybody. Like you literally switched from Shay to Beyonce. Even if it was before then, but immediately you entered the Big Brother House. It was like a second kind of personality just came in. Is Beyonce the name that you say when you're trying to become, you know, extra? Because I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> you know, the Big Brother would unleash it, you know. It's, it's going to unleash some of the things you think you did not have before. So, yeah, it's, it was a platform to, to show, who, to discover who I was, you know. Um, I was very shy. I wouldn't lie to you. Before, up until entering into the Big Brother house. Yeah. But now, oh, oh, oh no, you don't want to try me. Of course we don't. <laughs> of course we don't want to try you. We'll come back and talk about your cooking and all of that great stuff. All right, we're back. Sound City Radio, it's the Oazi here. And of course, Beyonce is still here. We're talking things and uh, everything Big Brother and his plans after. You can send your questions at Sound City 985 FM is the handle. I see that there are a few questions there. We're going to take them in a bit. But first off, Beyonce. So, uh, so. <laughs> what word do you mean? What, why are you doing uh, that? Uh, you're getting familiar. So. Anyway, Beyonce, my yeah. question to you is this, right? So, so. Um, we, I mean, so as I can say right now, you're about to ask just one question and you have said like 10 things. Okay. Okay. So keep on with the Okay, so T Boss is older. <laughs> gotcha. I like that you're having fun. Okay, so T Boss is older than you are. We know that T Boss is way older than you are. Is that the kind of, you know, is that your interest? Is that your interest in general? Like outside the Big Brother house now? Is that the kind of woman that you like to. Wow. Is that the kind of woman that you like today? Like, like the wow. What's wrong with you? You're wrong with me. So answer me. I'm please. wrong with you. Yeah. I've barely spent how many minutes here. I'm wrong with you. Okay, Beyonce, I'm listening. I understand that I'm so charming. 
Do you okay, like yeah. older women? Um, um, I, I have no preference. I love everyone. I'm a lover, you know, so... No specific um, quality, just, um, you know, I love everybody now. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I Me see. for all. <laughs> I know. see. I see. Me say So you're you're a chef, and then you went in. You told us that your strategy was cooking, mm-hmm. uh, which was a lie, clearly, as we can see. <laughs> anyway, so now. So you you um, going into the Big Brother House, you realize you you uh, you can't have just one strategy. You have to be very calculated. You know. Um, so you think you were you, really you, calculated? You thinking thinking um, cooking. Cooking, cooking is just a part of it, you know. You can't cook your way to the finals. Are you crazy? I mean, I would who, who, who would who would watch who would watch people just cook? I really? Don't know. So when I said my strategy was cooking, oh, you were waiting. Oh, he's going to cook all day. Really? Beyonce, really? you have fans that were listening <laughs> and watching you and hoping that that was actually the truth. That was the truth, but that can't be the that's the basis. But that can't be everything I do in the house. I Come see. On. So now that you're out of the house, how is that cooking going for you? How what? is being a chef going for you? What's the plan? What are you doing next? Okay. We need uh, to know. Yes. Um, I have a couple of ideas. Um, a col- uh, couple, so many culinary uh, um, innovations I'm yeah. trying to bring in. Yeah, um, I have several companies trying to back. They're going. To, they've given me the word that they're going to back my ideas. Um, also, uh, in the food and beverage industry, yeah, I'm open to endorsements. Also, I'm also open to yeah, um, tapping into the Nollywood. Yeah, so you're gonna start acting. That's what you're saying. Have you gone for any auditions? Anything? Is anybody calling Big you? Big Brother was alone is audition. I see. You know. uh, I see how much faith you have. That's good. Uh, so Beyonce, you say you knew T Boss before, and you guys were really cool and all that stuff. My question is this: like immediately you got evicted. She started acting for us on TV, and I was like, oh yeah, you guys. Oh, Can did you nobody see? vote. You just contracted. Did nobody yourself. vote? Ah, uh, wait. You know, did nobody <laughs> vote for Beyonce. Why didn't you guys vote for Beyonce? And blah blah blah, and all that kind of stuff, right? But the truth is, we at home, we knew that she nominated you for eviction. So did you always know that she was such a sneaky person, or was that just? Um, to my to my I knowledge, uh, I, I heard that um, every time she entered the diary session, she was always conversing for votes for me. Yeah, um, like no one is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, I don't owe that against her that she 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 uh, nominated me it's um human um impulse you know she felt threatened by someone and by she, you. she felt threatened by the third party okay and i was have you been watching the show i have of course i know the third party <sighs> okay so she fe- felt threatened by the third party and um she felt like she 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 should act on impulse you know so I I won't defend her as, as much as I won't criticize her. So it's a game uh, eventually. Everyone plays the game. All right, Beyonce, what do you think you would have done differently? I wouldn't have done anything differently. You would have done everything the same you way. You know, um, we, we, we are sitting right here talking about this because I'm, I've been evicted. You know, mm-hmm. if I come here as a winner, I am sure you would be like, you'd be like, wow. You know, you played the dumb lover and you got away with it and you know you warmed your heart your way to people's heart, you know. So um strategy goes um it could go your way, it could not go your way. So uh you hope it always go your way. But as is it, it it has not gone my way well. Um it's I've gotten so much love since I've been evicted you know exactly it's it's overwhelming i was it's just gonna say that you're a winner to us like we all kind of love you everybody likes me on people are listening people are showing you love on our social media we have the of the offense asking you did you really like t-boss or were you just playing around um at some point in time we, when you're in the big brother house you begin to blur reality with um with <laughs> there is a very thin line you blur reality with emotions you know as well as you are you are acting upon a strategy you begin to catch feelings at times you know so yeah sometimes you know they were fleeting emotions, but nothing serious. All right. Speaking of emotions and emotional things, Valentine's Day is coming on Tuesday. What are your plans? What are you doing? Are you doing like any cooking thing? Should the ladies come out and see Beyonce and all that stuff? What are you doing? Yeah, um, th- th- there are there are plans in motion for for that. Uh, basically, to be my female fans, you know, definitely. Right. <laughs> yes. So uh, 
they, sh- they should watch out for on my Instagram page or my Twitter account. Yeah, um, I'd I'd be I'd be communicating the uh, <laughs> I'll be communicating the plans to them very soon. All right, we're looking forward to that. Looking forward to knowing all that. But you know, that like I said, I'm, you, we are going out together. You, you I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is Beyonce trying to ask me out of here because I do not understand what is going on right You've now? You've been toasting me behind, you know. Uh, that's what you think. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever lets you sleep at night, Beyonce. Everyone thinks you're handsome and that's cool. We like you and we like what you've done with the Big Brother house. We like that you're here now. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, things will go better for you going forward. Yeah. All right. We wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming through. At Thank least you. now, I'm kind of sated. A uh, final question, though, Beyonce. <laughs> so now, who do you think from the five people up for eviction is going home surefire on Sunday? We have Bisola, Coco Eyes, Gifty, Debbie, and Basi. Who's going home? I really. In don't your know. opinion, I really don't know. No, don't be political. It's be real. actually very tight. Very, very tight. You know, you you could say this person and. And and another person goes on wood after that would be home by now, you know. I actually thought I I, I stood a great chance, you know, against um Soma and Efe, you know. But um I'm here, sitting here, being evicted, you know. You could think, Oh, this person is so strong, so entertaining and the person is out, you know. Yeah, but I need a name though. You need a name. Just any name. Just any name. Yeah, like from the five obviously. Or for from the five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really don't know. Honestly, it's it's I I, I don't like to uh, guess wrong. Come on, be a good sport. It's prediction, just like predict, uh, and then we'll see if it comes true. If it doesn't nah, come true, I, then the we'll thing. know. If I, you I, I don't like to. Like I don't. I don't, I don't like to be wrong. So I, I I don't want to give a name, and you know I'm wrong. Wow. Okay, Beyonce. We'll let you be. We'll let you sleep at night peacefully. And we're going to go back to the music, back to the party on the home run with DJ Shabzi. We're going all the way till 10 p.m., guys. It's Diwazi here with you. This is Sound City Radio. Keep it locked.